Hello, and welcome to another OneChart educational tutorial session. This session will be addressing the new Nursing Discharge M page in OneChart. The objectives for this tutorial are to become familiar with the Nursing Discharge M page, learn how to navigate and complete various sections of the nursing discharge process, and use the exit door icon to complete the patient discharge. To access the discharge end page, you need to click on the patient summary tab. You can see the new look of this screen and its functionality and how similar the summary is to the nursing handoff tool. From here, you'll follow your tabs at the top of the screen and look for the Discharge View tab. If you cannot locate the Discharge View tab, then you can click on the plus sign and open up additional view tabs that may be hidden or deselected. By selecting the Discharge View tab from this list, you'll be able to add it back to the main list of view tabs. In order to expand the Discharge screen, Click the pin icon in the side menu bar. This will unpin the menu bar and allow the user to have a better view of all the discharge sections. In order to repin, click back on the menu and click on the pin icon. The functionality of the discharge tab allows the nurse to move all sections of the discharge process in an order that helps with transition between screens. You may also use the scroll bar on the right to access all sections in order. It is recommended to move the IV stop time section to the top of the list. This section contains IV medications given to observation patients. Within this section, nurses will need to document stop times as the duration of the infusion is directly linked to billing. Please note, this is not documentation of administration and is solely used for billing purposes. Note that there are sections that display red asterisks. These sections are incomplete and need to be addressed by the physician prior to discharge. Sections that are completed will show green check marks. Even if an area has a green check mark next to it, the nurse should always review this section and validate and verify that the information is correct. Start with the Discharge Documentation tab. If the documentation is not complete, then you will need to click the drop-down menu and select the correct discharge summary. Check all the necessary fields to complete this section. Also, be sure to address the Education and Valuables tab. Next, click into the Discharge Medication tab. Be sure the physician has completed the discharge medication reconciliation. The RN should review all medications that the patient will go home with after discharge. Be aware, the last home dose displays, not the most recent dose. After the discharge reconciliation is completed, obtain the most recent dose given to the patient from the MAR to document the discharge instructions. On the problem list, you will need to click on the menu next to the classification tab and select all problems. There needs to be one chronic problem entered by the nurse or physician and at least one diagnosis entered by the physician. Nurses should resolve any patient states or any relevant interdisciplinary problems by clicking the resolve button. By doing so, these problems will drop off the list. The Document tab will show your discharge summary and discharge instructions written by the MD. 
the nurse can also click the plus sign to add in their own discharge note. To navigate from this screen back to the discharge end page screen, the nurse can click the arrow button located on the patient summary menu bar. The Outstanding Orders tab displays a list of orders that will remain on the patient's medical record until they are discharged. The Quality Measure Workflow tab shows a list of quality measures for the patient. If there is more than one quality measure for this patient, then click the All drop-down menu. Complete all outstanding quality measures by clicking on the link to chart data in the correct location of the electronic medical record. The Patient Education tab provides patients with education regarding their discharge. To add additional information, click on the hyperlink or the plus sign to add in additional information. The follow-up tab provides patients with information regarding follow-up appointments after discharge. By clicking on each appointment, it will show you when and where the patient needs to follow up with each provider. As you can see, the old way of conducting a patient discharge used a dashboard with circles. This has now been removed and replaced with the exit door icon for access to the DPART process and patient summary. To print discharge instructions in the W10, click on the exit door icon. Make sure to check the patient, family member, or caregiver demonstrates discharge instructions and then click print. This concludes the tutorial on the nursing discharge process in one chart.